Hey, what is going on guys? This is FTV here and today I've got a product demonstration for you guys. So, today we're going to be looking into a plugin for 3D Studio Max called Greeble. And uh, using that plugin you can create cities, uh, buildings actually, uh, out of any any geometry that you can find and looks looks pretty cool. So, um, yeah. So, first thing, uh, you want to go ahead and download that plugin. So what you need to do is go to the link in the description and it's going to be this link here this is actually the creator's website uh, I wanted to link this uh, to to the creator so he could get some credit and as I, as I told you it's called Grebo. Uh cool name, cool plugin, everything's cool so depending on the model of 3 Studio Max you have, the version I'm sorry you need to download the correct uh, correct file here so I have 2011 so I'm going to be clicking on this and uh, it will take me to the download location. So I've already done all of that. Uh, as you can see, this is what I got here. So if you're on Windows 7, you can just go ahead and double click on that and uh, it will open the zip file inside of the ex Windows Explorer. If you're an XP or um, like older uh, operating system, you can just go ahead and extract that. Okay, we have this and as you can see, we have a 64-bit version of the uh, plugin and a 32-bit version of the plugin. I use 3D Studio Max 2011 64-bit, uh, so I'm just going to be worrying about the 64-bit uh, plugin. But if you actually use 32-bit, uh, you can go ahead and do the same thing with 32-bit as well. So what I'll do is I'll right-click this and hit copy, uh, copy the plugin, and then I'm just going to go inside of computer, C, Program Files, uh, Autodesk, 3D Studio Max 2011, and inside of plugins as you can see here. So if you like install it on a different drive or a different uh, location, uh, basically you just want to go inside the plugins folder of 2000 Max 11. So you just want to right click and hit paste here, but I've already done that so it's asking me to replace and I'm not going to be doing that. Once you have that replaced, uh, you want to restart 3D Studio Max if that's open or uh, you know, go ahead and launch 3D Studio Max. So I've already done all of that and the plugin is ready to be played with. So uh, the, more, now the simplest thing that you can do is using a plane. So I'll just go ahead and create like a small plane here. And uh, I was playing around and I actually upped the segments to 100. I'm just going to stick with 4x4 four four for now. Okay, there, there you have it. So first thing we need to do is nothing. Yeah, it's that simple. I just want to click on the plane and inside of your modifier list, you want to open that up. Might just take some time to load up. And you want to select Greeble from here. Greeble. Okay, there you go. There we have our Greeble effect. And instantly, as you can see, I'm just going to maximize the viewport here. This creates cool looking uh, CD for us. Now, it is uh, customizable. Uh, if you go ahead and increase the uh, maximum height, the maximum height to which the buildings rise will increase. However, it will remain like random still. So, And as you can see, these, these buildings are like, too small for us. You can actually leave it there depending on your choice. Or if you increase the minimum height, it will uh, you know, change that. Okay, there is some level of customizations possible. Um, for example, if you don't want these stuff here, I mean, if you're creating a city, uh, I recommend this should be here. But if you're like me and I was thinking of using this plugin for something other than a city, um, you actually don't need this. So simply, what you can do is uh, uncheck the box uh, of generate under widgets, and it will uh, hide all of those. Or you can actually check those. And for example, you don't want this uh, double sided uh, thing but you want everything else you can just go ahead and double uncheck that so instead of all of that it will replace it by some other stuff pretty pretty freaking cool uncheck that for me okay one thing you need to know is that this effect is procedural so what that means is if you go ahead and change the base geometry it will reflect the, the changes so if you go inside of plane we have the 4 by 4 segments if you change that to something like 10 by 10 you can see that our city is a lot more dense now. So the way it works, actually, it's turn that off for now. Is it actually extrudes these polygons uh, out? So I mean, right. Whoa, 
Control Z. Something something happened. Not good. Um, okay. So it extrudes these uh, these polygons randomly up, and uh, there you have our city. So, as you can see. Also, if your geometry has like uh, triangles, uh, you can check that. But since this doesn't have triangles, uh, I'm gonna uncheck that. Doesn't really matter. Also, you can go ahead and change the look of the city. For example, if you don't like it right now, just go ahead and change the seed, and uh, that will change like the entire look of the city. So, yeah. I mean, it's like different versions of, of random. Okay, so let me show you and let me tell you that this is not limited to a plane. We go ahead and delete that. Let's do something a lot more interesting now. Create a sphere, okay? Yeah, there you go. Maximize this up. And we can actually apply Greeble to this, okay? So go ahead and apply Greeble. Greeble. And whoa ho ho looks like looks like Cybertron to me actually. This is what you get looks pretty cool. Uncheck triangles if you don't want them to appear on the very tops. So as you can see these were uh, like triangles and I uncheck triangles so it doesn't render out there. Um just your personal preference, okay. And you can increase the maximum height and the minimum height, play around with this. And actually looks pretty cool. I've never tried it with this sphere actually. Okay. Okay. One more thing that you yeah, that you can do with this plugin is something a lot more complicated. I'm just gonna hide this uh, height selection, and let's go ahead and do a plane. For because now what I'm gonna do is something that is not uh, memory efficient. So I'm gonna make a lot of buildings here. So I'm just gonna apply Greeble to it very quickly. Greeble, Greeble, Greeble. Oh, okay. There you go. I increase the minimum and the maximum height. You can actually have like an animation of uh, inversion and stuff. And there are pretty much a lot of possibilities here. I just revealed my next intro idea. Shit. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna uncheck the widgets. We don't want that for now. Now comes the good part. Go inside of plane and beware. This might uh, crash 3 Studio Max on low computers and I guess it will on mine too but uh, I'm still gonna try it. I'm gonna increase the length segments to a hundred and the width to a hundred. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is truly beautiful. Actually we can go ahead and increase the size of the plane just a bit and don't complain about how slow my computer is cuz uh, yeah you, you probably know that there's a lot of stuff going on here just go ahead and increase that way way large there you go hit F4 we don't want that see that and there you go it looks uh, less like buildings more like grass but yeah if you, you can go ahead and render this out it will take some time to do it you can, you can see I just rendered that uh, for a previous time and if you go ahead and apply a material to it it's gonna be even slower so yeah, probably you won't go to 100 by 100, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna showing you that uh, this can do stuff like that. We can go ahead and delete that and unhide all. So we have our sphere right there. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much it about the plugin. And I actually uh, looked and uh, saw this plugin first used by a guy on YouTube. I don't actually remember the name, but uh, yeah, I then go, go went ahead and. Um, explored this plugin a bit and I found out that it's really cool and uh, very very effective again I'm gonna repeat that this looks a lot like Cybertron and you can actually go ahead and convert this to an editable poly and uh, you know make stuff look even better so yeah this is uh, this is pretty much it for this uh, demonstration I hope you guys liked it there are pretty much I've covered up pretty much everything here um, one thing then show you is uh, this one so you're probably guessing that if you have a lot of this stuff going on at the same time um, it will consume a lot of memory so to save on that you can check modify for render only and then this is gonna render out as a sphere I mean it looks like a sphere in the default viewport but if you go ahead and render this out it will uh, look look pretty cool there so yeah this is some uh, memory uh, this can solve some memory allocation problems other than that, this is a very cool plugin. I definitely rem recommend uh, everyone to tr give it a try. And a big thanks 
to the creator. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment below, and please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.